All right, so in this video, guys, we're gonna talk about NVIDIA and the RTX 2060. Is this a card you should consider? No, it is not. In this video, I'm gonna explain why you should avoid the RTX 2060 coming up. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Robin here. Today, we're gonna talk ray tracing and the RTX 2060. Buckle up. Here are my three reasons why you shouldn't buy the RTX 2060. Number one, the lack of number of ray tracing cores so ray tracing is the big selling argument with the rtx 2060 but as we've witnessed from numerous reviews now that the embargo has been lifted it shows us that the card barely manages to hold the steady stream of 60 frames per second in battlefield 5 with ray tracing set to the very lowest now if you want to drag ray tracing all the way up to ultra at 1080p yeah well with around 30 frames per second and bf5 reviewers are talking about movie like experience here and so don't even think about it guys with all this being said sure there is definitely a chance that dice manages to improve the performance on ray tracing in battlefield 5 and we haven't seen how ray tracing impact the performance in games such as shadow of the tomb raider and metro exodus but for a graphics card with the selling argument being ray tracing not really delivering on its promises in my opinion it is not cool in any way, shape or form. Number two, you might get very, very, very disappointed here. Nvidia has done it again, guys. With the RTX 2060, Nvidia is launching the video card in a total of six different specifications or configurations or SKUs or whatever you prefer to call it. Now the potential risk of getting a worse performing RTX 2060 card is very very high unless you're really aware of what to look for here. There is going to be a lot of people getting slightly disappointed here and some people may not even realize that they picked up a card with slower memory for example which is going to perform worse than a card with the fastest GDDDR6 memory and again and I don't think this is a cool move in any way. I don't understand why they are doing this. Nvidia, please take more responsibility. This is making it very, very hard to anyone to recommend this card for this sole purpose alone. And number three, hold your breath here, guys. There are far better cards coming very very soon now right now as i'm posting this video the rtx 2060 is still a pretty good deal if you're taking a look at what's out there in comparison the rtx 2060 performs similar to the gtx 1070 ti or a bit better than a vega 56 and even similar to the gtx 1080 depending on what games and titles we're looking at about the gtx 1070 ti and vega 56 as well as the gtx 1080 80 are all at least $100 more and that technically makes the GTX 1060 a great deal if you're able to pick up one right now. Now this is something you need to be aware of. There is a card that is yet to be announced which is the GTX 1160 and this card is going to be pretty much the same as the RTX 2060 minus the ray tracing cores for less money guys. Now Nvidia is planning to release this card any day now and this is going to be a far better deal than the RTX 2060. Now if you want to learn more about the GTX 1160 I made a whole separate video on that car just a few days ago. I linked that video up down below for you guys. Be smart here guys, save your money, get the GTX 1160 or wait for upcoming AMD Navi. We cannot forget about AMD. They are soon about to launch the 7 nanometer and yeah the new upcoming Navi architecture which is looking very very promising. I made a separate video on this series of cards as well. I linked that video up down below for you guys. Now let me me know in the comments what graphics card are you looking forward to the most right now and what card are you uh, playing on right now at the moment i cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say here thank you so much for watching this video i'm gonna be back very soon with the brand new video until then guys have an awesome day right bye